basic functions so it means that log is equal to exponent okay so si log ang equivalent niya ay exponent si exponent ang equivalent niya ay si log okay so log is equal to exponent so that will be our basis in computing logarithmic function so example we have here log base 3 of 9 is equal to question mark so again paano binabasa so that will be log base 3 of 9 is equal to question mark so again log base 3 of 9 is equal to question mark so ang kailangan natin dito ang hinahanap natin dito is log is equal to exponent so anong exponent Pwede natin ilagay kay 3, which is our base, para mag-equivalent siya ng 9. So, kung ihiwalay natin yan, so that will be 3 to the question mark power is equal to 9. Diba? So, yung ating question mark will indicate the exponent of the base 3 to produce 9. So, anong exponent ni 3? yung posible para mag-produce siya ng 9 and that is equal to 2. So, that is 3 to the second power is equal to 9. So, therefore, the answer in our logarithmic function is 2. So, if we will write that, so that will be again log base 3 of 9 is equal to 2. So, that is how to solve a logarithmic function. So, again, we will just again consider that log is equal to exponent. So, we are finding for the exponent of the given base to produce 9. So, log 3 of 9 is equal to 2. Okay, so let's have another example here. So again, let's go back with our basis. So basis natin is log is equal to exponent. So ang hinahanap natin is the exponent. Okay, so example, we have here log of base 2 of 8 is equal to question mark so what particular exponent of 2 so what exponent of 2 is needed to produce 8 and that is uh, that will be equal to 2 to the third power and that is equal to 8 so how would we know so pwede kayong bumalik sa basic kuhanin mo si 8 i factor 3 mo so 8 is a product of 2 and 4 and then 4 is a product of 2 and 2. So therefore, 8 is equal to 2 to the third power. So meron siyang tatlong 2. Isa, dalawa, tatlo. Okay? So again, if we go back with our logarithmic function, the equivalent will be log of base 2 of 8 is equal to 3. So the answer is 3. Okay, so let's have another one here. So we have here uh, log of base 4 of 16 is equal to blank. So, so the solution will be what exponent of 4 is needed to produce 16. So factor is 16. So 16 is a product of 4 and 4. So we have 4 squared. So we have here, the equivalent will be 4 to the second power is equal to 16. So the answer for the logarithmic function is 2. So 
if we will write that, that will be log 4 16 is equal to 2. Okay, so let's have another one. So we have here log base 5 of 125 is equal to blank. So this will be left for you to answer. So your answer will be written on the comment box. So ilagay, sagutan, ilagay sa comment box ang sagot. Isang numero lang yung hinahanap natin. Okay. So let's proceed. So, paano natin ngayon siya i-convert into logarithmic function? So, para maging logarithmic function siya, so again, so this will be exponent or log. So, this will be log is equal to exponent. So, pag binalikad natin, exponent is equal to log. Para ko lang naman yan, nagkabaliktad lang si left and right. So, our exponent will be represented by y. And y is, can also be written as function of x. So, pwede natin ilagay si y as function of x. Eh. So, therefore, pag ginawa natin siyang y, so that will be y is equal to log of base b of x. Okay, so that will be the representation for our logarithmic function. So log base b base b of x. Okay, so yan ang gagamitin nating representation for our logarithmic function. Tatanggalin na natin yung ating question mark. So, if we will solve for the value of y, so this will also be equivalent y to the, or sorry, so that is b to the y power is equal to x. So, pareho lang sila. Ba? So, yung ating b to the y power is equal to x is also equi equivalent to y is equal to log b of x. Okay, so let's apply that. Example, let's have a problem here, logarithmic function. So, y is equal to log log of base 3 of 243. So, this will be equivalent to 3. So, ang ating letter B dito is si 3, ang ating letter B. Then, si y naman is our exponent. And then, si 243, ito ang ating letter X. Okay, so pag nire-write natin sa si ating logarithmic function, that will become, and that will be equivalent to 3, to the Y power is equal to 243. Now, in this case, we will apply our rules in solving exponential equation. So, in solving exponential equation, ang first thing to do is to make the base similar. Kailangan maging magkamuha yung base natin. So, wala na akong problema kay 3 kasi wala namang factor na si 3 eh. So, 3 to the y pa rin yan. Well, just copy 3 to the y power. Ang problema ko si 243. So, how can I make 243 as an exponential notation having the base of 3? Kailangan maging base ngayon 3 eh. So, anong gagawin natin? I-factor natin. So, we have 243. Ang 243 ay product ng 3 and 81. 3 times 81, so that is 243. Si 81 ay product ng 9 and 9. So, 9 times 9 is 81. Then, si 9 ay product ng 3 and 3. Then, another 9 is also a product of 3 and 3. So, therefore, si 243 ay equivalent sa isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima. So, equivalent siya sa limang 3. 
na minultiply natin sa sarili niya. So, that is 3 to the 5th power. So, babalik tayo dito. So, 3 to the y power is equal to 3 to the 5th power. And then, solve for the value of our variable. Pero hindi na x yung sinosolve natin si y na. So, solve for the value of the variable. And our variable is y is equal to 5. So, the answer is 5. So, that is the solution for our given logarithmic function. Okay, so let's have another example here. So, for logarithmic function, so we have y is equal to log base 5 of 1 over 125. So, y is equal to log base 5 of 1 over 125. So, we will solve for the logarithmic function. Okay, so, again, we have 5 as our base. So, this given logarithmic function can also be written as b to the y power is equal to 1 over 125. So, we will have 5 as our b. And then, this can be written as b to the, or sorry, so that will be 5 to the y power is equal to 1 over 125. So again, what we need to do is to make the base similar. Kailangan maging magkamuka yung base natin. So let's have here 5, let's copy 5 to the y power is equal to 1 over 125. So, si 125 ay product na if a factor natin si 125. So, that is a product of 5 times 25. And si 25 ay product ng 5 times 5. So, therefore, 125 is a product of 5 to the third power. So, we will have here 5 to the third power. Ang problema natin, hindi pa rin sila magkamukha kasi yung isa 1 over 5, yung isa 5 to the y power. So, gawin natin magkamukha, iaangat natin si 5 to the third power. Ilipat natin ang 5 to the third power papunta ng numerator. Pag nilipat siya, it will have the reciprocal, the exponent will be negative. So, magiging negative ang exponent natin. So, therefore, that will be equivalent to 5 to the y power is equal to 5 to the negative 3. Kasi yung 5 to the third natin, nilipat sa reciprocal. So, 5 to the negative 3. So, our final answer will be y is equal to negative 3. So, the answer is y is equal to negative 3. Okay, next example, let's have here y is equal to log base 27 of 3. Okay, baka magtaka. Sir, bakit mas malaki pa yung base kumpara sa equivalent niya? Okay, posible namang mangyari yan eh. We will just solve for the value of y. Okay, so, i-rewrite natin. So, again, 27 is our base at tandaan nyo palagi yung ating subscript will be considered as our base. So, pag nire-write natin yan, that will be 27 to the y power is equal to 3. Okay, so, we will factor 27. So, wala na tayong problema kay 3. Kasi, hindi naman siya mapafactor na. Dahil siya ay prime number. Ang factor niya ay 3 and 1 lang. So, factor natin si 27 to have a base of 3. So, ang 27 ay product ng 9 and 3. Then, si 9 ay product ng 3 and 3. So, si 27 ay equivalent sa 3 to the third power. Okay, so therefore, pag nilagay natin dito, so that will be 3 to the third power and then sama si y, so y. Kasi 3 times y yun. Then, ang exponent naman ni 3 ay 1. So therefore, i-pick up natin yung ating exponential equation. So we will have here 3y is equal to 1. To remove 3, so we will divide both sides to 3. 
for cancel 3, may iwan ng si y, and y will be equivalent to 1 over 3. Okay, so I think that will be all for now. So, see you again for our next video lesson.